this video will be my March empties and I'll start off with these. These are pretty much a staple in all of my empties videos. <laughs> um, they're just the Huggies Cucumber and Green Tea Baby Wipes and I use these when I make a huge mess on the counter after I put on my makeup or sometimes when I put my makeup on I use my hands a lot and my hands are covered in makeup by the time I'm done. So I like to keep these handy. I like these a lot because of the scent. Um, I'll go on to these. These are the Pond's Luminous Clean makeup removers, like the towelette things. And this is my favorite scent of these. I love the Pond's ones. These are the ones with like the pink and silver packaging. And this is the Luminous Clean Soft White Kaolin Clay. So. These are awesome. I love these. I highly recommend these. And then I have an Aveeno Men's Shave Gel. And I actually stole this from my husband because I ran out of my shaving cream that I use. So this was nice. It didn't have any scent. I kind of like to have like a fruity scent with my shave gels or shaving creams. So I won't purchase that one for myself, but obviously you know, if I run out, I'll steal his again. This is the Aveda Control Force Firm Hold Firm Hold Hairspray. I really like this. I enjoy the smell a lot. So um, when I run out of the, I think I have a whole bunch of big sexy hair hairspray. So when I run out of that, maybe I will purchase this. I really do like it. It's just a little pricey. Um, this is the Victoria's Secret So Sexy Hairspray, and I had a friend that gave me a whole bunch of, like, goodies in a bag, like, two years ago, I think, is where this came from, and while it's nice for travel, um, the smell, it kind of smells like old lady perfume, <laughs> so I will not purchase this for myself, but... I really appreciate her getting that for me. It was nice of her. Then I have a Suave Professionals Volumizing Root Boost Spray. I didn't enjoy this. I don't think it did anything. It just kind of made the roots of my hair kind of crunchy. So I don't think that I will purchase this ever again. <laughs> I also have the Macadamia Natural Oil Deep Repair Mask. Um, it seems like this used to work a lot better on my hair, and it doesn't seem to do too much for my hair now. I have tried to use this a couple of different ways. I think my favorite way to use this is I will put this on when my hair is dry, and I'll let it sit there for like, I don't know, an hour or something while I'm doing chores around the house, so... To let it kind of sink in a little bit better. Sometimes I feel like that does a better job than just having it on in the shower for a couple minutes. So, yes, I'll purchase it if I can find it on sale. Then I have the Dove Go Fresh Cool Essentials Cucumber and Green Tea Deodorant. I really like this deodorant. Um, I like the scent. I feel like it does an okay job. I don't know if you can hear my dogs over there. <laughs> They're going crazy, so if you hear some weird background noise, that's what it is. I also have two little mini toothpastes. This one is from Walgreens. If you just go into the makeup counter and ask them for samples, they'll give them to you for free. And this is where I got this one. This is just the uh, Colgate Optic White, and it is my absolute favorite toothpaste. So. I love that stuff. And then I got this one from my dentist. This is the Crest Complete Whitening with Scope Toothpaste. It's okay. I don't like it as much as the um, Optic White. So I won't go out and purchase this. But if the dentist gives it to me, then I'll use it. I have a Clinique Liquid Facial Soap. I, Me and my husband both use the bar soap for the face that comes from Clinique. So... I got this in like a Clinique bonus bag. Those happen every April and October, I think. 
I actually just came back from Clinique today. I got the bonus bag for the year and um, so no I won't purchase these myself but when they come in the bonus bags I'll definitely use them because I, I definitely prefer the the bar face soap from Clinique. I also have a Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. This is one of the last ones that I have that is the original formula, not the new, you know, reformulated lotion that they put out. So um, I do miss this stuff, but uh, I continue to repurchase it even after they've reformulated it. This is a Bosch & Lom Bio True multi-purpose saline solution. I think I got this from the eye doctor when I ordered my contacts the last time. I like it. It seemed to work just fine. I was reorganizing my perfumes and noticed that this guy was in the back. This is just the Juicy Couture original perfume and I haven't used it for a really long time and it's kind of turned to like straight alcohol so um, this guy sadly is going in the trash I wish it still smelled like it's supposed to but it's not it's not the same I also have a Taylor Swift's in Wonderstruck Enchanted perfume and I actually really thoroughly enjoyed the scent of this um, I will definitely repurchase this, even though I feel like a little kid buying it. <laughs> but it smells divine. Oh, it smells so good. Um, yeah, so... I probably need to go repurchase that soon. This is the Josie Marin Bronzing Argon Oil. And I got this in a... Uh, like a Sephora 10 pack or a Josie Marin 10 pack or something like two years ago and I wasn't too impressed with it. I didn't like it. Towards the end of it, it seemed to separate and all the bronzing agent was at the bottom and like the oil was up at the top so I didn't, I didn't like it anyway so I used it but I will not repurchase. This is a Josie Marin Argan Oil Hair Serum. I did like this, but I have like five other hair oils and serums at the moment. So <laughs> if I go through some of those, then maybe I will repurchase this. I really enjoyed the scent on this. So yeah, I liked it. I ran out of my Sesh Vite a couple months ago, and um, instead of just going out and purchasing it right away, I couldn't find it at my Sally's and they only charge like five dollars at my Sally's and the only other place that stocked it was Walmart and it was over nine dollars at Walmart and so I heard on YouTube that this Sally Hansen Insta Dry top coat is essentially the same thing and it works amazing but it doesn't and it sucks and my nails were always tacky they never hardened and yeah I will never purchase this again. I hated this stuff. I have a Bath & Body Works pocket back in Hoot Berry. I think I got this, you know, this Halloween. And I don't buy these anymore because I learned in my uh, medical microbiology class that when you wash your hands, what happens is you like scrub the bacteria on your hands and then you wash it down the drain and what doesn't get washed down the drain you wipe off with a paper towel, but when you use this stuff, it just actually dislodges the bacteria that's on your hands, and so it just moves it around all over your hands, and then you have loose bacteria that can get on everything that you touch after that. So I won't buy these for any, you know, antibacterial purposes, but when I have coupons for free ones, obviously I'll get them for the scent. So that was a long explanation. I went through a whole bunch of lotion during March. This is the Be Delectable from Cake Beauty Strawberries and Cream Hand Cream. I did enjoy this, but I have so many lotions and hand creams right now, it's ridiculous. So I won't be repurchasing this. I think I got this out of an Ipsy bag. So it did smell nice. Smelled really nice, actually. This is the Victoria's Secret Vanilla Lace. Uh, Ultra Moisturizing Body Cream. 
and this is my favorite formula of the lotions from Victoria's Secret and my absolute favorite scent so yes I will repurchase this in this formula probably for the rest of my life and then I have a pink chiffon triple moisture body cream from Bath and Body Works this is my top favorite scent like I, I this is one over everything else that I've tried from there um, I prefer the triple moisture formulas from Bath and Body Works. I don't necessarily like the straight up lotions that they have. So yes, I will continue to buy this, but only in this formula. Speaking of the lotion formula, this is a pink chiffon Bath and Body Works, just the straight up lotion formula. And I think I had a coupon and this was free. That's why I have this. Uh, it was nice for the scent. It didn't really have any moisturizing properties that were impressive, so I won't purchase these unless I have a free coupon or something. I have 200% pure coconut nourishing body cream. These were okay. I got these out of a birch box, except um, after they sunk in my skin, they didn't smell like coconut anymore. They kind of smelled like kettle corn like a caramel kettle corn so I didn't really like the scent after it dried I won't I won't purchase the full size I did a little organizing like I said uh, through my perfumes and I have a container of lip glosses <clears throat> and there was two that had turned on me and like separated in the container so this one is uh, an Ulta duo contraption thing uh, I didn't really get much use out of it because I stored it away and forgot about it so it doesn't smell very good now so it's just going in the trash this is from a Clinique bonus bag this is the different lipstick in shy and the long last gloss wear in mystic and I did use like two-thirds of the lip gloss you can't really tell because it's like spread out and I did use quite a bit of the lipstick but um the lip gloss smells funny and it's a little separated <laughs> so I'm just going to toss this because I don't really want to use the lipstick when the lip gloss is separated so yeah I did like the colors though I have two mascaras this one is the Too Faced lash injection I did not like this this was super like clumpy and I could never get it to work right to where it like looked decent on my lashes and I can't even get it open right now to show you what the brush looks like so you're just gonna have to look at the bottle <laughs> um, yeah it was bad I was really disappointed especially since this is like a high-end brand I expected a lot more from this I also have uh, Maybelline the Mega Plush Volume Express mascara. I wasn't impressed with this one either. It was, it was kind of like, like, I don't know, the formula was just weird and it went on my lashes weird. I, I just didn't like it. It kind of weighed down my lashes. I didn't understand what it was supposed to do. I didn't know if it was supposed to be like volumizing or if it was supposed to be lengthening or like I don't even know. So glad it's you know past its six month eight month mark and can be tossed in the garbage this is a Josie Moran Argon matchmaker serum foundation and I read the reviews on this and I was quite excited to try it but I was kinda disappointed because about I don't know two or three hours after putting it on I noticed that it started to get like splotchy and wore off and patches on my face so I wanted to like it. It was supposed to leave like a super dewy, glowy look on your face, and it didn't on mine. It was just splotchy. <laughs> so, not going to purchase that. I have an eyeliner here. You can't see the name on it. This is what it looks like. This was the Sumita, uh, what are they called? Sumita eyeliners from Birchbox. I think this came in my Birchbox. I actually really liked 
this eyeliner. It went on super black. It was super jet black. And not only that, but it stayed in my waterline. It didn't come out out of, my, out of the corners of my eyes at all. So I was actually quite impressed with this. I might even save up my birch box points and um, buy either the four pack or just the full size. I think they're... I think they're either like $12 or $20 for the four pack. I think the full size is 11 and the four pack is like 20 or something. So I think, um, I think I'd probably opt for the full size eyeliner. <laughs> anyway, you didn't need to know that. I was just rambling. This is the Maybelline Eye Studio Master Drama eyebrow pencil and I can't sharpen it anymore. That's what this one looks like. And see how this has like a wood pencil on it? I am absolutely in love with the Maybelline Master Drama or whatever they're called. These things that had the plastic pencil and they've actually discontinued that kind of eyebrow pencil. So this is what I'm left with. I had to hunt down every single store in my town I think I went to like 10 different stores trying to find the back stock of the plastic pencil ones, but I really do like the spoolies on these. Um, this was in medium brown, and the pencil ones are, have a little bit more red in them than the plastic pencils do, so it's kind of disappointed the color's not even the same. And I think this is my last item. This is the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Natural in Light Plus. This is the color that I normally am. I'm NW15, NW20 sometimes in the summer. And I use this as an all over color. Sometimes I'll get the medium shade in these and use it as like a bronzer or like go around the perimeter of my face. But uh, the light plus is what I specifically like for my setting powder. So yeah, I'm going to put this in my back to Mac bag and I think I have enough now for two new lipsticks. So I'm super excited. So that's all I have. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.